Jake's Jingle Jam 2013, it is always something that everyone looks forward to. And we're here in the Supercuts Backstage Pass at Riverwind Casino. And the best part about it, Supercuts sponsored this interview segment. And take a look who we're talking to. This is Chris Stapleton, who hasn't been to Supercuts in quite some time. Quite some time. Hi, Chris. But if I were to go get a haircut, I probably would go to Supercuts. That's a good idea. And that's a yeah. perfect timing to say that. How long have you been working on that? I mean, this is something that's genuine and looks like it can tell a story on its own. Yeah, well, I've, I've had a beard and long hair. My wife, I've known my wife for about 10 years, and she's never seen my chin. So if that gives really? you any, any notion of how long I've had a So beard. for 10 years you've been covered up. Yeah, I've had long, this long before it was something cool to do. But That's true because <laughs> this, this past year it's been like, hey, let's grow our face out and, yeah. and call it cool. <laughs> Very mm -hmm. fun. You've been on this crazy ride this past year of 2013 because as we kind of wrap it up here in the Christmas holiday season, what is something that as you embark on the new year as now an artist, because we'll talk about your, your background as quite the songwriter, but now as an artist, what is there to look forward to and what do you especially kind of look forward to for the new year? Uh, just, you know, playing some more shows and getting out there and, and keep on rolling and, and uh, hopefully we'll have something else out on, out on the radio uh, at some point. Yeah. And, uh, you know, just keep on trucking. That's, that's about it. When people, of course, they've reacted to your... Uh, songs that you've written for like Darius or George or, or, or Josh Turner, they've, they've heard those, but when they react to what are you listening to, a song that, that you wrote and put out as a single, does that have a different feeling when it comes to you being the artist behind that song? Uh, they're all good feelings. I, it's not a, uh, you know, there's certainly one's not better than the other, I don't think, but uh, it is nice to, to be the guy who sang the song too. You know, mm -hmm. that's, I, I have a little bit of that experience in other worlds, uh, genres of music, but uh, Country fans are really, when they really get a hold of something, they really kind of take yeah. it and run with it. And so that's a nice thing, even a little taste of that, that you can get is yeah. a good thing. Is that the difference in this genre, you think? They're, they're more of a kind of a, let's hold on to something and not let it go. They're, they're very faithful yeah, to the artist. Yeah, well, very much so. Yeah. Uh, probably more than other uh, genres of music, you can, you can really have a long career yeah. uh, in country uh, where other, other genres, I mean, Americana and, and bluegrass, will kind of let you have that kind of staying power too but uh, country fans man once once you have one you you have one for life sure and so yeah and they'll stick with you most of the time sure. which what is was cool what was that decision or what was that turning point of you know I've been a songwriter for years being Chris Stapleton and then when it turned into the desire to be an artist what kind of brought that about well I've always been a touring musician and made records in, in some capacity just not always in country uh, in bluegrass and uh, rock and roll and sure Different genres. Been, it's been in your blood. Yeah, I've always been uh, out on the road in, in some capacity, but uh, really the turning point that, that got me to doing the, uh, the country thing is they called me up and asked me to do it. So, uh, <laughs> you you kind of were like, okay, sure, why that, not? That was pretty That was pretty much it. Really? So, yeah. And because it, it was something that I've heard Tony Brown talk about it, and, and working with you, he, he says it's something that's almost phenomenal in a sense of, of your power behind the voice. Is that something your, your parents taught you, or where'd that come from? Uh, I, you know, my mom sings around when she's yeah. cleaning house, and she has a pretty kind of Julie Andrews kind of voice. She would never sing in front of people, but she that, keeps it between. Yeah, uh, she she'd walk around the house and sing "Hey Jude," cleaning house <laughs> when I was growing up. But uh, my dad really liked music and could could uh, you know carry a tune, but he wasn't necessarily a singer. Yeah, and uh, so I yeah I don't know. I had an uncle to play guitar, and it's just something I always liked. It all kind of came together. Mm -hmm. When it comes to putting together the next song that's on your mind or something of that nature, when it, when it, the starting point, is that something that's as simple as noticing something? Because it always fascinates me to be able to see a songwriter kind of emerge an idea out of basically nothing. Well, yeah, and it's one of those, you know, I always tell people you can be a songwriter and learn how to, you can't necessarily learn how to be a songwriter, but you can, sure. if you are a songwriter, you can learn how to write better songs more often. Yeah. And you can learn how to exercise that muscle and learn how to pay attention to things. As you're, and, if, and most songwriters I know are always at work in the sense that they're always paying attention. You could say something in this interview or I could hear something on the, the television yeah. somewhere that would tweak a nerve and, you know, want me to put something in my phone. You know, that, you know. And you automatically start writing it down. Well, kinda yeah, I kind of write it down and I'll save it for you know, an appointment I might have with somebody or... Uh, or about forget about it, or sure. I might listen to it later. Go, yeah, I was crazy. What that was not a good it? idea, <laughs> and that's normally the case. Is that you know, more often than not? <laughs> you'll more, throw away. More a often than not, the, I mean, there's about ninety percent of it that's like, yeah, that's that's terrible. Yeah, <laughs> but uh, but you, you try and and yeah. think it's a good idea at the time, and and just carry them around with you. There you go. You, can. you got a family at home, right? A little girl. I have a little boy and a little, little boy and a little girl. 
Is this something that they kind of look at dad and say, what are you doing? Or is it like, man, that's, that's pops. Well, they don't really know. It's not any different to them. Like they it's don't what know, you do. They don't know that everybody's dad doesn't have a yeah. concert to go to or, you know. Uh, and my wife's a musician and a songwriter, too. Mm -hmm. And so uh, it's just part. And they've always been around music. You know, they, they were in the Station Inn, uh, which is a bluegrass venue in Nashville, yeah. when they were ba tiny babies, you know. Just, so they've always been around music. They, <laughs> they don't know that it's not necessarily uh, everyone's a childhood unique experience. Thing, yeah. and, uh, and hopefully that's okay, you know. Uh, I think it is. But, yeah. Uh, yeah, d I, that, that just is going to work. You know, sure. It's, it's like anything else. And it's a young, growing family, so do you guys have any Christmas traditions you guys kind of stick with or that you're going to do this year? Uh, just to be at home on Christmas Eve. <laughs> <laughs> at, at, the, at the very least. Yeah, no, I mean, we'll probably eat too much. And, yeah. and uh, you know, Santa Claus will come and do his thing. And do his thing. And you maybe, like, put some baby powder on the beard and become Santa Claus all of a sudden? No, man, I'm, there's only <laughs> one Santa Claus. And I, oh, that's I can't true. That's true. It's, it's not bad. That's at least for the kids. <laughs> <laughs> very cool. It's the backstage pass to Supercuts at Jingle Jam 2013. Chris, you're about to go out there and do some songs for us, and this is a crowd yeah. that's looking forward to some genuine artist work out there, and I believe you're going to deliver. I'll do what I can. There you go. The Supercuts Backstage Pass, more to come. We're going to have more interviews. Just make sure you check out the link right here through 93.3 Jake FM.